Hi, fam. We interrupt this regularly scheduled program to give you a party. Shall we? So why am I staying up extra late to film this particular video tonight? Well, thank you for asking. I'm doing it to ensure that I can post this on Tuesday, July 20th of 2021 so that we can party properly. Why you ask? Well, thank you for asking. Uh, today, assuming that I get the today part right, today is the one year anniversary that Papa Snaps voided his warranty and got a POTS upgrade. Booyah. Um, so on July 20th of 2020, the man, the myth, the legend got a double lung transplant. Um, so that was exactly one year ago. Uh, if you will, share a golf clap for Pup Snaps with me. <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update and um, share some anecdotal jollies that might make you laugh and uh, just kind of just kind of touch base. So um, I think one of the most notable I guess moments that I got to share with Papa Snaps after his surgery. Um, so it was the first day that I got to go see him. So mind you, you side note, I did not see the Snaps family for about 16 months during the Rona and such. Um, the exception was that I did get to see Papa Snaps a few times while he was in hospital, especially since we had to, like, fully gear up to go and see him. You know, there's probably no safer place to break your social distancing during a pandemic than Mass General Hospital's transplant ward. Just saying. So, did get to go see him. First time I saw him was three days after his surgery, and I was not allowed to bring anything with me. Um, like, all of my stuff, including my phone, was left outside, and I had the, it's the full penguin suit and the gloves and the respirator, like, just the works, right? So, when I saw him, I, I don't remember exactly what it was that I said, but I, I mentioned something about owls. It, you know, something about them being very sassy or, you know, owls being like the cats of the sky. Just something silly, right? Now, he says to me, like, super deadpan, just very matter of fact. Well, you know, owls look like cats lying down. And now, my, so mind you, oftentimes outrageous claims like these tend to be met with something to the effect of, hold that thought, let me Google for 15 seconds and prove you wrong. Or just, you know, just hang on, let me check this for myself. I could not do that because I did not have my phone with me. So I was cocky, a little bit, and I just assumed that he was wicked hopped up on painkillers, and I basically just completely brushed him off and just, yeah, all right, big guy, like, whatever you say, owls look like cats lying down. Yeah, uh-huh. And I, like, I completely dismissed it. And then I forgot about it. And here's the deal. So, was he hopped up on painkillers? Technically, yes. Yes, he was. <laughs> but these were... These facts were on point. These facts were stone cold sober. And I completely forgot about, like, I completely forgot about this until a week or two later. And it just, it just caught up to me and just, wait, just, wait, wait, do owls look like cats lying down? And I looked it up and son of a bitch, he was right. They look exactly like cats lying down. And I'm not going to show you a picture because you need to look it up yourself because it's freaking awesome. They look like cats lying down. Did you know that? I did not know that. Thank you, Papa Snaps, for enlightening me. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's the most random thing. But, yeah. That was probably one of, one of the most memorable things. Just because it's, you just, you, 
just of all things for somebody to tell you <laughs> like in that situation this is this is you know i it just blew my mind it completely it still blows my mind a little bit and it's never i'm never going to forget that fact or the setting in which i was told it because it just it does not add up to me <laughs> so there's your fun papa snaps fact of the day uh owls look like cats lying down if you doubt me look it up i promise you it's worth the google <laughs> so anyways one year later <laughs> moving on um so you know he was one of the major deciding factors in terms of me actually making a creative channel and i i figured i would probably hold myself more accountable if i tried to basically be a walking billboard of sorts because he does have a medical fundraiser for the transplant and you know i figured if i would you know really try to bring attention to that i would be more on point with it and i'll be honest I'm not the best walking billboard, as, you know, my recent radio silence may have suggested, but that's a thing, um, and I, I do promise you guys I have a lot coming up the pipeline. I'm not going to dive into it because I really do not want to overpromise and then under-deliver, under at least in terms of time, and again, that's my bad, I'm sorry about that, but there's stuff coming. Um, so one of the things I do have some information on his transplant on, um, my blog over at gingersnapsat.wordpress.com, um, under the, I think under the about me section, there's a section just for him and it's, it's a little blurb and I should have looked at it before I started filming. I forget what it says. It's. I'm going to paraphrase, and no offense to all the fathers out there, but just, you know, something, something, my dad is best dad, something, transplant, something, something. Probably. Um, and then I also, do I have, yeah, so I, al <laughs> I also put a picture of him holding a puppy, because nothing says, like, this is a good idea, like a picture of someone holding a puppy. And <laughs> on that page there is a link for that medical fundraiser for um for his transplant because you know he is no longer a cheap date no matter how much he just likes a cheeseburger like cheap date no not remotely close um <laughs> i think the fundraiser i think it's a sub branch of gofundme except it's directly through the national foundation for transplants um, you know, it's like the tax deductible, all that jazz, like it's legit. It is, it is just for the cost of transplant, which pr I promise you that it's a big cost. Um, so it's, it is a thing. It exists, you know, I'll do like links and stuff in all the places, but if you wanted to check it out, because it is something that anybody can donate if they want to. And I've basically been maybe low key battering my aunt to anybody who opts to donate there um i actually i have like a stack of postcards because every little bit helps a lot of times people will just do small amounts literally in terms of like lack of foresight i do not have the stack of postcards with me because they're locked away in a different room that i don't have access to right now and i looked and i literally don't have any of the postcards in here because they were all in the stack i do have now, this is, you know, these obviously, this is not a postcard. This was a draft for a postcard. And I felt like this is still worth sharing as an example because this is Olga. And Olga is a rock star. And don't you forget it. This is a very dear friend of mine's hamster. And just rock star material all the way. The last rock star Olga postcard that I sent, um because this is a draft for an earlier one. The last one, what did I have? <laughs> it's Olga holding a guitar that has 
two heads. So instead of like the, the standard six string electric guitar, it's the 12 string. Um, because when you are faced with the question of what does a rock star hamster hold, it could be an electric guitar, which is technically proportioned correctly for their body, or it could be a ukulele, which is correctly proportioned for their tiny hands, or you could have a guitar with two heads, which is technically the perfect size for a rock star hamster. I'm just saying. So that's the type of nonsense that we make even just with like the postcards. <laughs> um, but you know, every little bit helps. Um, anybody who does donate to his foundation, um, like if you donated a larger amount, I've also been doing just like outright commissions for people. Um, often it will be a whimsical rendition of your own pet or your own animal of your choosing. Um, and honestly, if I were a wee bit more composed, I would have literally on display like unavoidable you have to look at it the tutu owl which may or may not be lying down it's not completely finished yet but i promise guys it's so worth it and i i am more excited to share it with you than you probably are to see it but it's awesome and it's coming okay i promise you it's coming but that's the type of random nonsense we've been doing for it in terms of attempting the walking billboard <laughs> but uh yeah, so that is that is pretty much the update. You know, everybody's alive and kicking and uh please join me in celebrating Papa Snaps and you know all of his voided warranty goodness. Send a little love his way if you so choose. If you do, please let me know because I'm happy to send, you know, whatever whimsical nonsense your way that you want. Um I'll put a few links below like all the standard stuff whatever but um I'll put what, what will I put I'll put the link to his fundraiser even if you just want to see how outrageously handsome he is um he looks way better now though like after the transplant like he look he looks way better now I promise um <laughs> I'll do the link to his about me page because obviously now you want to see the puppy picture who doesn't love puppy pictures I'm just saying um, and then I'll do, I, I, I forget what tab it, I, I named it probably something stupid and edgy, like, like want in or something to that effect on my blog. I listed basically just this advertisement and it just says, you know, reach out to me, touch base and then donate and then your whimsical wish is my sparkly demand and I'll paint whatever you want really um and then i th think did i meant i th i'm pretty sure i mentioned something about doubling down um i believe it was so if you do if you opt to donate to his fundraiser and you leave in the comment section like in the, like you get like the little comment box around if you leave a Seinfeld reference or a Kramer one-liner in the comment section, I will double down and I will either increase the size of whatever painting it is that I send you or I will send you two paintings because yes, Seinfeld is his favorite and yes, here's to feeling good all the time. Um, screw it, I will triple down. Actually, I will triple down. If you leave a Seinfeld reference or a Kramer one-liner, and it is one of his favorites, I will triple down on it, and we will get ridiculous. And I'm not going to tell you which ones are his favorites. You will have to guess and find out. <laughs> that offer stands. So all the links and stuff will be down there, and you will probably be getting more updates once I actually catch up with things and have more than just a draft of Rockstar Olga on hand. This might not have been the night of having good foresight and grabbing things ahead of time, as you may or may not be able to tell. Good things are coming, my friends. They are. <laughs> um, the standard spiel, uh, questions, concerns, 
sarcastic remarks, please do not be shy. And otherwise, until next time, take care.